Brandon Cooks, the subject of some trade chatter recently, connecting him to the Cleveland Browns. And this guy has been traded for a first-round pick, a first-round pick, a first-round pick, a second-round pick. I don't know. I may have thrown one extra first-round pick in there. He was acquired with a first-round pick, though, by the Saints in 2013. Two-year extension for Brandon Cooks with the Houston Texans. He went from the Saints to the Patriots to the Rams to the Texans. He's had a very troubling concussion history. I think he's overcome that in recent years, but I remember he had a serious concussion in Super Bowl 52 when he was playing for the Patriots. But, uh, hey, look, they, they need some players there. And as receivers go in Houston, Peter, he's clearly the best one, and he's been the best one ever since they traded away DeAndre Hopkins. What an odd thing I, I i i it isn't that this is a bad signing or anything but i just keep thinking to myself a 29 year old receiver and you're gonna pay him mike am i right in saying that essentially they're paying him 20 million a year each of the next two years which has really become almost the default payment to a receiver who can walk and chew gum at the same time now in the NFL. <laughs> and I'm look, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not passing judgment. I think Brandon cooks is a very good player, but it's almost like, and now you're seeing it with Debo Samuel, who we'll talk about in a while. But what is so odd about this is that there seems to be no more middle class among receivers. All the receivers in the league are like $20 million players now. And, you know, at least. And it's just, and then all the receivers who aren't making $20 million, it, and look, we'll see what Debo Samuel's intent is, but all the receivers who aren't making $20 million are claiming that they're getting robbed. And they either want out or, or whatever. But it's a very curious time right now for receivers in the NFL. I've seen the Cooks contract characterized as having a maximum value of nearly $20 million per year. Now, those are loaded words when it comes to the puffery that happens with contracts. Maximum value means he has to hit all incentives. Sometimes it requires the guy to be the Super Bowl MVP and the regular season MVP to get the maximum. And nearly $20 million means not $20 million. But you're right. There's a lot of receivers making a lot of money at a time when there's a lot of great receivers coming into the league every year. So... It's hard to reconcile, hey, we can go get one in the draft, and hey, there's a great one out there, but we're going to have to pay him $28 million a year. But some teams are willing to do that. Other teams would rather roll the dice on a draft pick. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.